it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. I'm in my kitchen on this early spring afternoon in our little farmhouse on the northern plains of Iowa and just going to be making lots of little things today in honor of springtime. So first I'll be making a lovely little simmer pot filled with fresh limes, lemon, and thyme. And then I'll be making Easter candles sprinkled with dried rose petals. And there's these beautiful wind chimes that need hanging. And finally, if I have enough energy, I'll be making tart and tangy lemon bars. So lots of spring goodness in here today. So I'm really glad you're here and hope you enjoy your visit at the carriage house. Okay, so now I'm going to slice some beautiful lemons and limes to put in the simmer pot. And just smelling the scent of fresh lemon while slicing them brings such a comfort. It's, it's um, both energizing and, and just uplifting too. So I'll actually often put a slice of um, a lime into a mason jar of water that I sip on throughout the day to do, to do just that, to help uplift and energize my mind, body, and soul. I'm also going to add some fresh lemon thyme for a nice added herbal scent. And all this will make your kitchen and your home smell so fragrant and wonderful for springtime. So now that the home is smelling refreshing and reviving, I'm off to make Easter candles made with soy flakes and delicate dried rose petals. So first I'm going to gently melt my candle wax in a double broiler and then I'll get my little mini jars ready that I'm going to put the wax in and they're so adorable, I'll show you. I think I bought them at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. So going to focus on doing that and then I'll tell you a little story behind the rose petals.
So now I'm going to add these pretty little dried rose petals to the candles just before the wax begins to cool. But the reason I'm adding rose petals is to remind us of Jesus. The five petals of the rose symbolize all five of Jesus' wounds from the crucifixion. And the red from the rose represents sacrificial blood that he shed for us. So I love that these candles are not only beautiful and as aesthetically pleasing for spring, but they also have true meaning and just looking forward to lighting them with my kids and my husband on Easter Day. Now I'm heading outside to hang some beautiful wind chimes and I wanted to take a bit of time and thank Astron for sponsoring today's video. They're a home and garden online retailer that specializes in beautiful hand-tuned wind chimes. And this is a wonderful time of year to be thinking of those warmer winds, sunny days outside or in the garden. But they have sent me this beautiful rose gold metal wind chime and I absolutely love Astron's wind chimes. I have another one of theirs. But they're waterproof, they're heat proof and rust proof which is really nice. And it's nice and safely packaged in a box so it would make a perfect gift. A wonderful gift for Mother's Day. But the beautiful melody and resonance that can come from the sound of a wind chime can be so peaceful and soothing. Not only are they great for outdoors, but they can be spiritual in a way. And the sound can simply purify and heal the soul. And just simply listening to them and looking at them right now has planted a seed of hope for this spring. But I will leave Astron's link and all their information in the description down below. So now it's time to make these delicious and tangy lemon bars. They're gluten free, which is always nice, but I love baking and cooking in the kitchen this time of year. Let me know if you'd like to do the same and you can even share some recipes in the comment section. I'd, I'd love that. Um, but I will leave the recipe down below and it's pretty calm in the kitchen right now. So I'm going to take advantage, put a little bit of jazz music on while I do some baking in the kitchen for spring. Thank mm -hmm. you. 